In the worlds before Monkey, primal chaos reigned. Heaven sought order, but the phoenix can fly only when its feathers are grown. The four worlds formed again and yet again, as endless eons wheeled and passed. Time and the pure essences of heaven, the moisture of the earth, the powers of the sun and the moon, all worked upon a certain rock, old as creation. And it became magically fertile. That first egg was named Thought. Tathagata Buddha, the father Buddha, said, with our thoughts we make the world. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. Thousands of years ago, and now, in a magic land very like ancient China, was the ape's mountain of fruit and flowers. Spirit and beast were always at war. Somehow, every war seemed to involve the apes. And the king of them all was Monkey. I mustn't blame them. We're all afraid. But the fear itself is an illusion. We're afraid until we realize that we are all each other. All of us. And everyone is the Buddha. A boy priest, all too human. A water monster, once commander of the heavenly host. And in the midst of beauty, the ugliness which lust used to make an angel into a pig. Three of the four called by their karma to save the world. The fourth, least qualified of all perhaps, is of course... Please, Buddha! 500 years of a mountain is enough! Come on! A joke is a joke! I'll get you when I get out of here! You'll be sorry! I'll make you sorry! Oh, Buddha, please, would you please let me out of here? Ah. Who's next time? You're doing it to yourself, so you say? It's you that's stuck in here! you gave up! Monkey was trapped by desire and released by a boy priest. An abbot died for greed. The Buddha taught, whatever you do, you do to yourself. 
We want so much when we need so little. But the illumined man wants for nothing. A long time ago Monstrous is only a question of opinion. To some of us, opinions are so precious that we will die for them again and again. Oh, you give up. 